Arda Hegeberg was crowned the first woman's Ballon d'Or in December, cementing the Olympic Lyonnais forward's reputation as one of the world's top footballers. And it was here that she honed her skills at First Division Starbeck. Besides her on-field prowess, Starbeck's sports director recalls how Arda came to seek out her place in the team, then one of the best in Norway. In the middle of the summer, we were sitting inside the office having a chat, me and the coaches, and suddenly it knocked on the door and uh, there was this uh, young girl coming in and said, hey, I'm Arda, I want to play for Stobek. Hegeberg's interest and earliest challenges in the game lie in part with her football-mad family. Both her parents were coaches and her older sister Andrine plays for Paris Saint-Germain. Arda's mother still recalls the game where she first showed her potential, aged just seven or eight. Then she went to a tournament, and there she received the ball, turned around, made a beeline for the goal and scored. Again and again and again, match after match. That was when it became so obvious. Signing to Starbeck aged 16 after a stint at another first division side, Arda's ability to find the back of the net quickly impressed her older teammates, winning her a place on Norway's national team. For her former teammate Siri, it was Hegerberg's winner mentality that really set her apart. We played the cup final uh, one year uh, and she had been uh, out for a few weeks uh, uh, with illness and she didn't train with the group uh, and she came, played the finals and then she scored a hat-trick, one with the right foot one with the left foot, and one with her head, <laughs> and we won 4 0. Hegeberg will not compete with Norway in this year's World Cup. Media reports suggest disagreements over the team's management are behind her absence. But her rise to stardom leaves little doubt about her key status in football today.